Hello my beautiful spirits. How are you today? Welcome to the channel. My name is Donna. This is Irish Donna Tarot and I'm so happy to have you here. Um, we're going to jump into this love energy update reading. So Scorpio, your overall energy is Knight of Wands, sexy baby, Sagittarius energy. So while you're thinking about all the good fun things that you'd like to do in this relationship or this connection, um, you know, you're, you're really focused on the physicality, the sexiness, how it makes you feel, fun communication. But we have the card of the Seven of Swords. So what you're not really revealing in this energy to your person is that you could be falling madly in love or you could consider them the person who could be your happily ever after. Now these are mutual energies. When I do energy readings, these are all mutual energies. So both of you are sort of playing it cool. <laughs> When I get the two of cups, you're falling in love, but you're, it's almost like you're sort of like, yes, well, we're actually falling in love, but the emperor card with this big old chess piece is playing it cool. I'm going to play the long game. You know, both of you are in this very intellectual, aloof energy of trying to figure things out. What's the best way forward? I don't want to really reveal myself. I'm going to hold back and just sort of see how things flow. We have the Wheel of Fortune. You're very fortunate. You both feel very fortunate to have met each other. And the energy right now that you're exhibiting is, yeah, yeah, well, you know, we're cool. We're just hanging out. We're having fun. We're like a couple of teenagers. You know, we're just going to, you know, just have whatever fun we're having. And like, excuse me, but the elephant in the room says that you're falling in love. The Two of Cups is marriage. The Ten of Cups is happily ever after marriage. This is soulmate. The Emperor card is taking action, but you're you're like really dialing it back. When we get the Emperor card crossing, and then we get the King of Swords beneath, ooh, I'm going to play it cool. I'm going to be strategic. I don't want the other person to really know how I feel. And you're both thinking that. So, <laughs> so what we have here, but the Spirit has some messages for you here. Great and full. Both of you are very, you're great together. You have a very vibrant, full, expressive relationship. And you're very grateful to have met each other with that wheel of fortune. You're both very aware of it. You're very conscious of each other. Endless possibilities that you know really know that you could be lovers, you could get married, you know, you can play it light, you can play it cool, but you can also really go the distance in this relationship. A burst of magic, oh, it's yours, it's there, and I feel as though you're almost, you both feel it, look at that, and the way, right, way excuse me, I got so excited, the way that we know that there's magic is that we have the star card, <clears throat> Aquarius energy of enlightenment, of spiritual attunement, of being as beautiful, you're beautiful inside, beautiful outside. Both of you know that this is a really special connection. Both of you feel it. Both of you have gone through a tremendously healing period of time, after which, you know, you are coming out in this beautiful energy of hopes and dreams for love coming true, um, really recognizing the divinity in each other, recognizing how special you both are. You could be dating somebody who's actually a star, somebody who's in the limelight, who's in the public eye. Both of you watch each other on social media and what you're looking for here <clears throat> is the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth. And I feel as though social media is the main place that you're watching each other very carefully. The Ace of Swords, though, is you both have great clarity. You know, you both know what you want. You definitely want this Ten of Cups two of cups but you neither one of you really it's like playing poker you, neither one of you are willing to really show your hand and so you're making all these big chess moves without saying anything to each other so it's okay though you're both very clever you're both very happy to be together both of you in, are in this heal, healing energy, Six of Swords, moving forward after a difficult time and some other relationship in which you were probably, it looks like you weren't treated very well. And so, you know, you release that because you want these endless possibilities. 
Um, you know, we also see that right now the energy is Libra energy. So we have, I'll go through all the cards also, uh, the Libra energy here, making a head over heart decision at this point, not, le not letting your emotions run away with you, putting your heart in a cage and being very logical, very balanced, you know, trying to be very serene and logical so that you can have an honest relationship with an honest person. And that's quite admirable. Um, but, you know, when we look at the card of a burst of magic, we have an awfully lot of magic here, the star card, the ten of cups, and that two of cups. So we're going to clarify and see what's going on in this relationship, Scorpio. The Two of Cups here. I'm just going to really clarify the player energy. I'm going to clarify sort of the more challenging energies first and see what's happening. See what enlightenment we can gain from that. Why are you both having this sort of Sagittarius playful energy and pretending? Yeah, oh my God, look at what fell out. I had to pick it up off the table. Seven of Swords, Seven of Swords. You're pretending. <laughs> the movement of swords you really want to tell each other but you're really holding back because you're having a delightful time while you're pretending about this you know not being very serious about each other okay so why do we have the king of swords energy here for you scorpio why is the king of swords this is aquarius energy why is it here why are you remaining aloof and intellectual movement of wands okay you're both telling yourselves you're mirroring this energy you're both telling yourselves that you're just going to play it cool you're going to have fun you're going to live in the moment you're going to focus on the sex and the excitement and the laughter and the playfulness but you are just not ready to give your heart Look at this. The Ace of Cups is clarifying the Two of Cups, a brand new love relationship. Or, you know, it can be a beginning, a new beginning for those of you who may have been in separation. But what do we have? Why is the Page of Cups here? Why do we have the Page of Cups? Spirit of Pentacles. <laughs> Both of you are, you're having so much fun. It's like being kids. It's like your kids again. It's like your teenagers again. <clears throat> the Spirit of Pentacles is the uh, Taurus energy of the King of Pentacles. Both of you bring a lot to the table, and yet you're sort of going, la, 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 la. Oh, let's just skip around and, you know, pretend that we're not really nearly as grounded or as serious or as in love as we already are. And it's it's it has its charms, right? It has its charms. So you really do want to make the beginning of the relationship last. You know, it's it's a lot of fun. You're enjoying yourself. Why do you have the star card here? Why could this be the amazing relationship of your life and bring in magic and innocence of cups again? There's something about the two of you you might have known each other from childhood, but I'm, I'm not reading it that way. It's not the Six of Cups. It's the Page of Cups. What you're enjoying so much about this is just the pure innocence and joy, the purity of the relationship itself, the absolute truth-telling in terms of just being honest with each other about facts. You're not being honest with each other about the way you feel because you're holding back. But that's okay, you know, letting things unfold, playing it cool. It's, you know, I don't see any problem with that. The Aries, Aries card is here of the Emperor. You will, you're being cool about taking action. Again, the Six of Wands energy is here. It is in the reverse. And the reason you're playing it cool is that you don't want to assume too much too quickly. And so what it tells me for you, Scorpio, is that you really are playing the long game, you know, waiting to see what will happen here. We have the movement of cups, a lot of romance coming in with the star card, a lot of, um, and we also have the ten of pentacles clarifying the ten of cups. Both of you want a legacy relationship. You're both very much in this emperor energy. You want what you want. You want it all. You want the best of the best, and who wouldn't, right? But you want that beautiful magic. You want that burst of magic. And you are restrained enough to allow the relationship to develop at 
a slower pace so that you can enjoy and revel in it. Enjoy falling in love. Don't rush ahead. Enjoy the moment. Savor the moment. The judgment card. See, here you are. You're judging each other appropriately on your ability to share honestly with one another. You both have very good karma. You're very good people. It just really speaks to the fact, Scorpio, that is your card. What this tells me is that you are, you know, you're using good judgment and watching each other very carefully, taking your time, enjoying the moment, having fun, and uh, waiting for this to unfold. The Six of Swords is the energy that both of you have. We see the Six of Swords as a healing energy moving away from something that was very painful in the past, something in which you did receive dishonesty and deceit of a treacherous nature not one of a, you know, and then, you know, just, I'm going to hold back nature. Yeah, here we go. Oh, look at this. You really want to make an offer. Both of you want to make an offer as you move forward. Both of you feel as though you see a tremendous value in one another. The Ace of Coins is oftentimes the, the energy. That's what you're hoping will happen. Both of you want this relationship. The Five of Swords is clarifying the Queen of Swords. Now, I would caution you that if you hold back too much, it could come across as mind games. Why do we have the Five of Swords here? You know, well, Both of you want this so much that you could have a misstep. So what I'm seeing is that you have the Queen, the Libra Queen, and the Aquarius King, and holding back isn't really being so honest here. So it is a bit of a mind game. And so let me look and see what your advice is on that Five of Swords energy. Five of Swords, Seven of Swords are cards that tell me that both of you have been really hurt. You know, you both are healing, that you you almost are... You may even tend to repeat a pattern of expectation here. And I just had cards fall on the floor, so I'm going to take all of them. We have, yeah, see, both of you are really afraid. Your fear, what is making you fearful and hold back is devil energy. You're afraid of trusting. You're very much afraid of getting hurt. You're afraid of rushing, and you're afraid of holding on too tightly. It makes perfect sense, right? I mean, that's actually really reasonable. When you start a relationship, you don't want to get into, obviously, toxic energy. And so, you know, I'm seeing this. I'm going to clarify some more. The Five of Swords, tell us more about this because we don't want you to self-sabotage. You know, we don't want you to have that energy accidentally, intentionally, or in any other way. The Eight of Cups. So both of you are so afraid that the other person is going to walk away that it's making you put your heart in a cage, which is not appropriate. You know, it's one, th it's one thing to go more slowly, but it's another thing to actually hold back intentionally. Spirit of Swords, right, remaining cool, aloof, appearing not to really care as much, but that in and of itself could unravel the uh, beauty of this relationship. Close out this particular energy, I would say. Universe is saying you let go of that so that you can have your magic. So to me, that would be the advice of the moment is not to make any assumptions that you would repeat your behavior with this person I don't see it happening. This is a very pure, loving, honest relationship that I feel very much that you can trust. And it's important not to let baggage from the past interfere in this incredible burst of magic. Scorpio, it's been a joy sending you love from Chicago. Send some back. Tell me where you're from. Thanks so much, Scorpio. Hope to see you again soon. Thank you. Bye-bye.